Let's now set up a virtual host on Ubuntu. If you haven't yet, open the terminal. So go to search and type terminal. And the first item here is the terminal, obviously. So if we click on that item, that comes up with the uh, terminal window. And we're going to start uh, by navigating to one of the folders, CD for change directory. And then the path is OPT lump, which with double P at the end and an ETC. If we hit enter, now in, we are inside of this directory, as you can see this path here. Uh, if we try and see what files we have by using the ls command, you can see we've got one of the files that we are interested in is this httpd.conf. So let's now open it with nano editor and we need to open this file with administrative privileges. So we're going to use the sudo. Uh, command sudo and the nano editor and let's specify which line we want to open this file. The line may not be exactly the same when you're actually watching this video because obviously the files, um, the updated files of a ZAMP installation may change. But at the time of this recording, the line inside of the uh, httpd.conf file is 488. And then we uh, specify what file uh, we are actually referring to, which is httpd.conf. Uh, and if I now hit enter, it's going to ask me for the password. So I'm going to type my password, hit enter again. And as you can see, it's spot on on the virtual host line. If you can see the same line, then you can use control V uh, to search file going uh, towards the bottom of the file or control Y uh, to do the same going towards the top of the file. So we need to uncomment it by removing this hash symbol uh, from the beginning of this include line. Now we can save it. So control X, as you can see here, this command here. So control X, then Y for save changes and simply enter or return on your keyboard to save the file with the same name. So that's been, uh, the changes have now been applied to this file. The next few, uh, file is inside of this uh, extra directory so we need to navigate the first so cd then we go extra and hit enter now ls to see what files and folders we have here and the file we which we are interested in is the one we've just included uncommented the line which uh, which was actually including it which is this htpd vhost.conf so let's simply open this file the same way as we've done before sudo nano this time we're not going to be specifying any line http uh, d-vhost.conf and hit enter and now let's scroll down to the bottom of this line so control v to scroll down through the pages now as you can see the last block is what we are actually going to copy this virtual host so let's simply select everything copy and let's move our cursor using our arrows on the keyboard and now simply paste it so uh, using our mouse simply paste and if I now quickly remove, if we move the cursor up and right till the end of the line, if you were watching the previous videos, you know that to go to the end of the line is simply control E on your keyboard. And let's start removing. Uh, we don't need this custom log. We don't need error log unless you want to obviously uh, keep track of all these errors. Uh, then let's go to this line and remove the server admin as well. And the only thing we need is basically these two lines here. In order to find out what path we need uh, for our document root, let's open the new terminal window. If we go to file and then open tab, and now let's navigate to our home directory, which is simply CD and the tilde uh, symbol, this curly line, hyphen like, and hit enter. Now we are inside of our uh, home directory. If we simply type ls to see all of the files and directories you can see we've got desktop downloads and so on we want to navigate to the desktop so cd desktop and let's hit enter ls again to check what we've got on our desktop you might have some items i haven't got anything here and now i'm going to create a new directory for our project so it's going to be mk dear make directory shortcut for and what I'm going to do, the directory name is going to be simply PHP course. Let's hit enter. Now, if I do LS, you can see this uh, directory has been created. So I'm going to navigate to this directory, CD PHP course and hit enter. Now, LS, obviously nothing's inside of our PHP uh, course uh, uh, directory yet because we haven't created anything. Let's 
perhaps create the file straight away, which we're going to be able to call later on in the, inside of a browser window. So let's uh, create a new file uh, using nano editor. So nano and index.php and simply hello with the exclamation mark. Type anything you want. It's just to test whether the, basically the installation has succeeded. So uh, control X now to uh, to leave the, the editor, wife to save the changes, and obviously the file name we've already specified index.php. So hit enter. And this has created the new file with the content we, we've basically put in there. So if we now do ls, you can see this file has now been created. But another thing we need to uh, basically get from here is the path to the specific directory. And to display the path to the current directory, we use the pwd command and hit enter. So this is the path, let's copy it, go back to the previous tab and replace this document root with this new tab, so, uh, the path, sorry. If I just remove everything and I'll simply paste what I've just copied, this path to our PHP course directory. And let's, uh, for server name, let's remove this default one and simply type uh, php course.dev. Let's now create a directory block. So directory, directory, and now the same path as we specified earlier. So in between the double quotes, we are going to paste this path to our projects directory and we close the directory. This is to specify basically the permissions on this specific directory. So require all granted. And I can just use the tab here to, sorry, not here. Let's go control A to the beginning of the line and use the tab to align them all the same way. Okay, so that's now done. Let's hit control X, then Y and return on your keyboard. That's now been saved. Let's now clear the console window by typing reset and hit return on your keyboard. Now we can navigate to the etc directory. So change directory directory cd forward slash etc hit return again and now if we do ls to see what files and directories we have inside of this etc directory you can see there's a file called called host this is the one we are interested in so sudo nano host hit enter or return on your keyboard now move your cursor down using arrows on your keyboard and type one two seven zero one sorry zero zero point one and let's specify the subdomain we want to use which is going to be php course dot dev if you want to create any extra um virtual host simply type them on the second line on the next line basically using the same ip address and then specify the subdomain you want to use now we are done with this file so control x y to save changes and we're keeping the same file name so simply return or enter your keyboard the file has now been saved let's now navigate to cd and we go for opt lamp and let's see what files and directories we have here the one we are interested in is this manager hyphen linux x64.run and this is the file by that basically triggers the, the ZAMP control panel. So we are going to use sudo dot forward slash and manager linux hyphen x64 dot run and hit return on your keyboard. This will open the ZAMP control panel. And now let's navigate to the manage servers and we are going to only start the Apache for the time being. So click uh, once web about you've selected web up to web server basically click on this uh, start button that's now starting the server and it should go live in just a moment. Yep, there we go running. So now let's open Firefox or any other web browser you may have installed. If we now navigate to uh, PHP course.dev, you can see the page we've created earlier. The file index.php is now called. Uh, inside of our browser window that means obviously that it's pointing that our virtual host sub domain basically points to the right directory on our desktop